I, I don't think I've ever seen law practice this way. These are, the, these, these are really baseless allegations. The declarations filed by Mr. Cochran have absolutely no merit, and they, I mean, they have no relevance. Still fascinating. Still. Yeah, Marsha right? Clark there well over two, dec two decades ago during the O.J. Simpson trial. T uh, today she joins us with Robin Tunney. And somehow looking hotter. Right? Like, how does that happen? <laughs> I know. What is she drinking? Because I, I want some of it, please. But th we talked so about sweet. how these trials now are tried in public opinion. Oh, yeah. And there are so many going on literally as we speak. Yeah. Uh, when you think about the, the Varsity Blues scandal and what's happening with Lori Loughlin and uh, Felicity Huffman, what, do you, what, what are your thoughts there? I have so many thoughts. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. but I have to say, it's, in a way, I feel sorry for Felicity because she did the least, but she's getting the most attention because she's the biggest star. Mm -hmm. um, but we can't resist these celebrity crime cases. We never can. And now we have so many outlets. You see it constantly. Mm -hmm. Every single inch of it is being played out. But I feel really bad in general for the kids who never are going to get into those Ivy League schools. At, no matter what, because their parents don't have the means. Mm -hmm. And then th I, what I really want to say to the employers is stop looking at just the fact of an Ivy League resume, because that does not mean the kid is a quality kid. That doesn't mean he can really perform. There are, like Google, Microsoft, Apple, there are so many of these companies, they look for that. If they don't see one of those Ivy League schools, they don't even look at them. Yeah. They don't even give them a chance. And now, especially with this scandal, I want them to rethink that. I also think it's a mistake just to vilify the celebrities, because this is a symptom of what's going on in our culture mm -hmm. um, and how much pressure we put on our kids and what we feel like love is as mm -hmm. a parent. And I feel like, okay, it's easy to point your finger and go, she's bad, this is what privilege does, but we can't do better by just vilifying those people. How do we create a culture where this doesn't have to exist? Yeah. And I think it's the same thing with, you know, R. Kelly. It's like this thing of like how this person got here, the abuse he had as a child and like, how do we make it better moving forward so that these things don't happen again? And that we can take responsibility as a culture and try to make the world a better place. But that, in, that interview with Gail oh, King. Oh my God. Incredible. Oh my God. Yeah. Right? She did an amazing job, let she me just really say. Did. You know? And I'm sitting here thinking, so ask him this, and then she did. Yeah. <laughs> ask yeah. him that, and then she did. <laughs> Gail was King was really not good. Oprah's best friend that week. She was Gail King. Yes. And that <laughs> interview was on fire. Standing and good up. for Gail. Standing up. She didn't move. Calm yeah. and Ray. cool. Yeah. Oh, and cool. Oh, oh. That I think was the, awesome. I think the, one of the main comments after was, I hope that you were as unbothered today as Gail <laughs> King was yeah. with Robert Kelly. Yeah. She really held it yeah. together. Yeah. When you think about the, the, now he's in court, I think as, as soon as today, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you think about how his case might be prosecuted, yeah. you know, does, this, does that help him? Does that hurt him? You know, having this, this very, very yeah. publicized interview I right think, before. Yeah, I mean, that's a really good question. What Robin was saying is like, yes, and that's, that kind of thing, those public appearances and the effort to spin public opinion, because I think a lot of the rage when he's jumping around and it's not me and I didn't do it, was a lot, I think a lot of it trying to show I'm so innocent and I'm unjustly accused. And it, he, acting, let me just say, he should leave it for the actors. Uh, <laughs> he you showed know, his temper, which is really, terrifying. Yeah, he did show his temper, but I even I kind of felt fake to me too. Yeah. You know, so it's like a bad, uh, but a lose-lose proposition. Mm -hmm. But that's something that we show in The Fix a lot, is the effort on both sides to spin public opinion. Everything's behind the scenes. Everything is about what's going on, not in court. And a lot of it is how they try to mess with each other, both sides do. Yeah. And there's an episode yeah. where there's a fake sex tape made of me. Yes. And this idea how it's so humiliating for a woman to go through that in a professional job. Do you know what I mean? Like, Maya's yeah. not going to become a Kardashian. This is not something that's in a bankroller. It but basically I mean, she ruins could. your career. She could parlay. That tape yeah. was good. I'm just yeah, saying. Like, middle-aged lady sex tapes next on the fifth. You never know. We're, we're making it sexy to be middle-aged. You know? Right. Is... You got to see it. Wait, before we go, please put up Robin's little son on Instagram because you put him up. I love his big eyes. I love the picture I want you to do Instagram. Oh, we don't have it. Oh, okay, no. I thought we were going to go to some Instagram. Uh, somebody put on your Instagram, they photoshopped your head with a woman with a giant rack. Was what that was amazing? that about? It was giant. It's really, <laughs> it was really No, I mean, it was like, it was <laughs> very, <laughs> very large. And it's also in. very thoughtfully done because it looks so real. It like, does. somebody spent a lot of time on my breasts in that photo, and that's a real fan. You know? So, I mean, how much umbrage can you take? <laughs> it's really not real. No, I, it's, it's, it's odd because there's a lot of Photoshop pictures of me all over the internet. That's the most PG one. <laughs> there's one of me doing, you know, 
hundreds doing crazy things. Um, <laughs> they look so real. Yeah, yeah. They really oh, take Lord. their time, but they always give me a really good body, so I'm okay with it. We'll yeah, take like, it. Like, you know, yeah. they give you a better suit. body, it's yep. okay. People from high school <laughs> think they're real. Like, they, they're you like, wow, she's a good neck. I love it. Well, you can catch her on The Fix. It airs Mondays at 10 on ABC. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now. Thanks.